So often we're asked where are the most popular adult communities with standalone homes. So we're gonna look at those on the east and north sides of Vernon today, and we're starting now. Hi, I'm Lisa Salt with Remax Vernon Salt Fowler, and in this video, we're looking at the most exciting adult-oriented communities that are on the bus routes, they're close to shopping, and they're in the East Hill and Harwood area of Vernon. But before we do that, please make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and like this video as we're posting new videos here every single week. We would love to have you as a subscriber. On this channel, we give you the straight goods on Vernon and the North Okanagan, our ultimate Four Seasons paradise. Whether you're moving in nine days or 90 days or just curious about the area that we call home, be sure to call, text or email us and just add salt. So I thought we would start from the east end of the city in Middleton Mountain and then go through East Hill and end up in Harwood and look at all those gated communities that have detached homes in the complexes. So let's start with our first complex, which is Quail Run and Quail Vista at 124 Sarsons Road and Quail Vista Place. Quail Run and the neighboring Quail Vista are not too far off Highway 6 and located on the edge of the Vernon side of Middleton Mountain. The units in Quail Run started being built in 1994 and they continued right up until 2002. So there's like a huge range of older to newer units in the 102 total units in the development. Now technically there's an age restriction of 55 plus and if you buy a unit here you should know you can't rent it even if you want to as no rentals are allowed. Small dog or a cat is allowed though, and there's also some limited RV parking on site. Then Quail Vista started building units in 2002, kind of when Quail Run finished, and it looks like they finished up around 2004. Now, neither complex has a pool or a clubhouse or anything like that. However, what they both have is beautiful views over the valley. They're built up on the hill, overlooking the Hillview Golf Course on the one side, through to East Hill and South BX. And then as you head further south, the views are over Vernon and the valley. So being located in the Middleton Mountain area, these complexes have access to all that Middleton Mountain has to offer. So the parks, the Middleton walking and hiking trails, and they're relatively close access to Kalamalka Beach as well. And then all the while being so close to Highway 6, so you can get into Vernon in a matter of minutes anytime. Most of the individual units in Quail Run are level entry units with daylight basements. Um, although, you know, there's a few units that are only one level and much smaller non-basement units as well. So then as we cross Highway 6 and head north on 15th Street, we'll hit East Hill and our first complex in that sub area is Hillview Meadows. Now this complex is located right across and kind of beside Hillview Golf Course, so it's super convenient if you're interested in a little par three golfing or enjoying the restaurant there. And of course it's on the bus route. The complex was built in and around 1989, 1990. There's 35 units in total, so it's much smaller than Quail Run and most are one level, although some also have basements. Its age restriction is 55 plus. You're allowed one pet, except just not a big dog. There's lots of amenities here too. And although you don't get a view over the city, like say at Quail Run or Quail Vista, you do have access to a shared outdoor pool and a hot tub, which is nice. It's gated, of course, there's RV parking. And because you're right on the edge of the city, you kind of have a more rural feel here. And again, you're on the bus route, so you can easily travel downtown whenever you like. Then a little further down the road on 15th Street and up 25th Avenue, we arrive at Sandpiper. Now Sandpiper is obviously also in East Hill. It's a super popular community with 80 units and a bunch of different floor plans. Community has a pool, a hot tub, clubhouse, fitness area, library, games room, compound for RV storage, so tons of amenities. It's also on the flat, so you don't necessarily have a view per se. However, you do have all those extra amenities to make up for that. Sandpiper has always been so well known for its extensive landscaping, complete with water features throughout the development. It's really beautiful. It has a gated access for added security, so it's a great lock and leave type of complex. All the units are two or three bedrooms with single or double garages. And of course, some of the units back onto the water features are the pool, which are really nice. 
Now, because the complex started being built in the early 90s, if the individual homes haven't been updated, they can be quite original looking and may need some upgrades, although some have been entirely redecorated already. You're not too far from Hillview Golf Course as well, and you're right in the heart of East Hill, so there's lots of places to walk and parks to visit, etc. Now still further down 15th Street and jogging up and around to 43rd Avenue at the top of the hill you'll find the Uplands at 943rd Avenue. This is another nice development around East Hill built in 1989 and 1990 that has a mixture of level entry homes with walkout basements on the downside and then on the other side of the street the units are non-basement homes. It's gated with some good amenities. There's an outdoor pool, hot tub and lounging area. And really the main reason people will buy here is the views over the city, the valley and down to Okanagan Lake. It's really quite spectacular if you buy a unit on the view side. They have lots of visitor and RV parking too in the complex as well, which is another bonus of this development. Small pets again are allowed here and you're not too far from the Mutri Off Leash Dog Park and the Grey Canal Trails, which your furry little friend will absolutely love. Now we're going to leave East Hill and end up in Harwood on the north end of town where we'll find in a quiet cul-de-sac a small 16 unit strata development called Ambleside. Ambleside's another detached bare land strata community that very few know about that's not too far from the north end shopping district near places like Walmart and the Village Green Mall. The complex is really nice and private and the age restriction at this point is 45 plus which is a little less than some of the others so if you're a little younger that might be a bonus for you. Like I say it's close to shopping it's also on the bus route of course and it's within walking distance of BX Trail and you're right next to the Blue Heron Rookery as well. In this complex again there's no rentals allowed however you're welcome to have a small pet, one cat or one dog a maximum of 15 inches in height at the shoulder. These units were built in 2004 and 2005, so they're actually the newest in the area we're looking at today. And besides being nice and close to the shopping district on the north end of town, it's quite small and with 16 units, it's a manageable community for sure. Some units have basements and some are just on one level and they all have two car garages. And that's it for today. If you would like more info on Vernon and area or to find out what units in these desirable complexes are selling for, please contact us or download our free relocation package at vernonrelocation.com.